Hello dear Christian brothers and sisters, welcome to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. Father Jim Blount awoke in a peaceful church on this significant day, accompanied only by the gentle whispers of his sincere prayers. Seeking comfort and inspiration from above, he pondered the serious issues facing his community and the wider world. With his head bowed in prayer, he felt a reassuring presence envelop him, a soothing warmth filling his soul. It was as if the very air had changed, bringing a message of great importance. Children of my immaculate heart, dear one, a clear and gentle voice spoke. Father Jim's heart raced as he heard the voice of Our Lady. She said, Beloved son, people no longer think it is wrong to respond with violence as violence becomes more common. If my children understood what it means for a man to allow violence within himself, they would know that this is a clue showing that Satan's accomplice is trying to erode the good in humanity. Discord and hostility caused by human disobedience, apathy, and lack of moral principles, all of which my son wants restored in his people, occur at the same time. You must have faith that evil will disappear from humanity. People will be surprised, my children, because there is so much evil on the horizon. Strong solar storms and increased radiation from the sun and moon will disrupt Earth's electricity, communication, and technology through solar wind. However, you should not be afraid of this knowledge, but be aware of these changes in the sun and the universe. When the great darkness comes, you will need to become more spiritual and turn away from evil, to act differently from those who reject divine protection and see this truth as a lie spread by evil. My son will never abandon his people. I am with you, my dear children. Instead, he will consider them the apple of his eye. It is often said, nothing has happened, nothing will happen. It is regrettable that my children have such poor reasoning skills. Mother Nature is unleashing her fury on my international children. They will tell you that the weather is changing and that they have seen what heaven has warned you about. You must understand, my beloved ones, that all you are responsible for is meeting basic needs. You are God's children. God will take care of the rest. The big cities will be abandoned because of the idleness they will be forced into to support the communities where God's people gather. I will need my priests, my little ones. To think deeply about this, you must always have the Bible and the daily gospel available. A small altar, Prayer books and sacramentals should also be kept nearby because you cannot get them through this medium. This will also help you prepare for the various hardships predicted to cause social unrest in different nations. You have been fully informed about the rapidly changing components and the severe torque motions that will transmit from one end of the earth to the other through these calls. The reversal of the poles is one of the last events this generation will witness. Therefore, Heaven demands that, to avoid condemnation, humanity must be cautious and prudent in using its senses. As my son's people, you must unite, purify yourselves, examine your actions and behaviors, and stay under the Holy Spirit's guardianship. You must not allow yourselves to be deceived or divided. Dear children of my Immaculate Heart, ignorance meets complacency. Mexico suffers as allies for the devil turn their backs on the defenseless. Colombia will be troubled and put to the test. My son finds it saddening that laws contrary to God's plan are becoming their own laws. I pray on behalf of these people. Water supplies are being contaminated by man's intentional actions against humanity. Although it is the source of life, man does not value water. The continuous flow of human blood is the cause of Earth's trembling. To my children, Love your brothers and sisters. When one door closes, I will open another. Sin is not a source of joy for my son's people. They are people who follow God's word. They are not a people ruled by social status. They are not among the arrogant, the conceited, or those who impose themselves on others. They are those who walk in the protection of the highest ranks and strive tirelessly to stay afloat. In my role as Mother of Humanity, Morning Star, Healer of the Sick, and Refuge of Sinners, I call you to the path of conversion. I am blessing you. As God's children, 
We must heed Mother Mary's call to righteousness in a world where violence has become all too common and division and hatred dominate due to human disobedience, apathy, and moral decline. We must recognize that nurturing violence within ourselves is a sign that evil is present, trying to tear apart the very foundation of our humanity. We are called to place our trust in God's protection and turn away from evil as we face the challenges of the day, especially the upcoming disruptions caused by natural phenomena and social upheaval. Our faith will be tested by the great darkness looming over us, but we must persevere on our spiritual path by reflecting on the lessons in the Bible and embracing the sacraments that sustain us. Our Lady reminds us that we do not travel alone. Our Savior, her Son, will never abandon his people. We are cherished, loved, and tasked with shining our light into a world full of darkness. Let us avoid becoming complacent or dividing ourselves. Instead, let us unite as one body, purified in heart, and dedicated to practicing God's word. Let us be kind to one another as siblings, for in unity we find strength. We humbly and earnestly bow before you, O Virgin Mary, loving mother and protector of all your children, seeking your intercession and guidance in our lives. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for your grace. You are the mother of mercy, mystical rose, and morning star. We share with you our worries, joys, and sorrows today. You, who are most familiar with our deepest emotions, envelop our hearts with love and protect us from harm. Please teach us to love with pure, dedicated hearts, ready to serve and forgive as you have loved. Mary, model of purity and virtue, let us live virtuous lives, welcoming the needy and spreading God's love to everyone we meet. We place our trust in your powerful intercession before your beloved Son during this time of prayer. We ask for your help in facing life's obstacles with courage and unwavering faith. May your grace support us in difficult times and may your light illuminate our path. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it to receive notifications of our latest videos.